Mariano Yangurin with HTV Television with the City of Houston Mayor's Office, and I'm here at the Houston Emergency Center, and we just finished a press conference and getting an update with the mayor and the chief of police and, and the fire chief, and joining me right now is Fire Chief Sam Pena to give us an update on what just happened. Can you tell us uh, about the knocking door to door and, and, and voluntary evacuation? Okay, so it's two different things that we're talking about here okay. this morning. The first one is, is the wide area searches that we were conducting as a result of the, uh, the storm. So we're focusing on six main areas of, of, of Houston that experienced heavy inundation, three feet of water in the homes or more. Um, in those areas that we've identified, we're actually sending a group of team of firefighters out mm -hmm. and they're doing a systematic uh, check of every home in, in the affected area. And what I mean by that is that they're gonna go there and, and knock on these doors and, and then look around the property to ensure you know, that, that, yeah, that, that we've covered that okay. uh, and we've conducted our primary and secondary searches. Um, we, we take a look, but we stop short of busting in the door. If the door is secure, we will not break doors in, you know, unless uh, we see any signs that we need to take further steps. Okay, how are your responders doing? I know that uh, they've been working just nonstop, uh, tired. Uh, is there some relief uh, with other agencies that are coming in to help? Right, right. So, yeah, you know, our, our first responders have been, uh, have been working tirelessly, like you mentioned. Uh, a lot of them have been working throughout the, the process for three or four days straight um, without having the opportunity to go back home and check on their own homes, mm -hmm. you know? So, so all credit is, is due to those uh, individuals. They have uh, really uh, committed to this effort um, and, and shown what a sense of duty it is that, that, that we have. We have, um, but they're doing, you know, they're doing fine. We're, we're able to, at, at, at this point, send out supplies uh, and rotate them, you know, and, and okay. allow them to, to leave. There was a point there at the beginning of the, of the storm where we, we weren't able to, to get people out and we weren't able to get people in. So that's the reason that they remain for two, three days uh, at a time or more in some cases. So, but at this point, it's, uh, it's stabilized. Uh, we're, we're moving back to normal operations, okay. but we're still focused on, on the remaining tasks that need to happen as a, uh, in response to the, uh, to the storm. Okay, you talked about people coming back to check on their houses mm -hmm. and the fear of getting electrocuted. Any safety tips of what this entails? Right. Um, it is extremely hazardous to have standing water, uh, anything above the outlets, and, and with the home that is energized. If you're on the second or third floor, you may be working fine because the breakers haven't tripped in your area. But you do run the risk of electrocution if you step into that water with live wires down or if there's, uh, if, if there's power to that, to that uh, neighborhood. You also have uh, uh, air conditioning units or, or other um, equipment outside mm -hmm. that runs on, on electricity, high voltage electricity. That, uh, that is susceptible to, to damage. Uh -huh. And that poses a danger not only to residents, but it poses a danger to firefighters and first responders who go in there in response to, to a call for emergency. Okay. Any other comments? It, we recommend, again, like the mayor mentioned, if you are in a home in this area, in the, uh, in the energy corridor area that has standing water, you know, that flooding is gonna remain for two, two weeks. Um, so we strongly recommend that you evacuate. We will uh, have units on scene to, to assist in that evacuation. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, you know, don't put yourselves at risk and don't put your, uh, your first responders at risk uh, by, by remaining in a, in a hazardous situation. Chief, thank you. It's thank always you. a pleasure to talk thank to you. you. So you heard it straight from here and uh, that we'll be keeping updated uh, on what the fire department is doing. So from the Houston Emergency Center, Mariano Yangurin, HD. <laughs>